Hello there, and we're here to do a quick breakdown of the three workshop armors. Now, the first one I recommend for new players is the Nanio armor. It only requires 100 exotics to get past that initial suit upgrade, comparatively to the almost 700 you need for the other two. So when you're looking for initial drop armor, definitely the Nanio. It's also got the best core stats. Its armor's better... And its exposure limit's better. It also gives a bonus to stamina and stamina regeneration. Now, let me pop open my menu here so that you can actually see the three armors. Now, you got the Nanio, you've got the CX400, and the 700. Now, I'm going to warn everyone on this. Icarus changes. All this information is subject to change. Now, let's say that you're wearing the same Heart S5 environmental suit that gives you 10 physical resistance for those that don't know physical resistance is just the percentage of damage you basically don't take from an enemy so the nanio armor at the beginning which is the one i recommend you to start off with has the highest exposure and physical resistance it also gives you some extra weight capacity some collision resistance as you see, if you look at the bottom here, it gives you all that. Now, what this does is it gives you a solid all-round armor. Now, it is basically, for all intents and purposes, a general-purpose armor. I mean, that is what it is. It is good for basically anything. Any mission that you have to worry about dropping down and you're not quite sure what it is, this is the one to go with. It has the highest exposure and the highest physical resistance out of the three. It tops out at about 31% uh, percent physical resistance with this, meaning that I have a resistance of about 40%. And if I have some different buffs and stuff, you're looking at taking half damage from bears, wolves, that sort of deal when you got all those points together. Now, all of them luckily have the same heat and cold resistance, meaning that no matter where you're going, they're all the same. But the exposure resistant, if you're expecting to have to be outside a lot, Nanio armor. Now to do a quick breakdown of the other two, your CX-400 is, for all intents and purposes, it, I mean, the description says it, the latest technology designed to assist with mining and felling. If you need a lot of resources... This is it, because not only is it going to reduce the pickaxe wear and tear and the axe wear and tear, it is going to have a 1% chance to instantly kill trees and to break minerals or ore. This and the 25% yield is amazing, because when you get the right pickaxes with this, you can get 150%, 170% with the right perks. I mean, it is ridiculous the amount you can pull in with this dude. If you're ever going to be building anything, I highly recommend this one. It's just able to pull in so many resources. Now, at the same time, it's also got the weaker armor values on than the Nanio. It's not as good in your more general purpose. It actually has a lower durability as well than Nanio. So, like I said, if you're expending heavy construction... Or you need to gather a bunch of resources for the mission. This is the one to roll with. Finally, the SD700. This is your kind of combat armor. It gives a bonus of about 10% to melee damage, projectile damage. Now, as you can see, the actual physical armor is the same between these two as well. And so... Really, all you're looking at is the two specialist outfits are, you know, based off of what you're doing. Though, it does give you an extra perceived threat reduction. So, this is a stealth armor. This gives you a bonus to hunting. It's going to be good if you're going to be going up against a boss because of the extra 10% damage. The extra perceived stealth also is nice if you're going to be running a long distance because... As my undersuit here gives me a minus 5%, that's 40% to 
right there. If I have any perks, you can be very stealthy right out the gate. And it's great for those hunter characters that are, you know, they're going to be hitting the ground running probably with a compound bow or, you know, something like that. And it doesn't have the exposure resistance of the Nanio, but still solid all round. Or, you know, it's a high mobile, high stealth armor. It gives you, like, just a lot of good combat. It also, each piece of this armor, not only gives you plus 2% to melee and projectile, but it also gives 4% stamina regeneration. Which is nice for both combat and scout runs. So, the idea of using this as a scout armor is also solid, because with enemies not able to detect you as easily, and the extra regeneration of stamina... You can really travel far in this armor quickly. Um, with that, I hope this gave you a quick breakdown of the three armors. And if you enjoyed this, like and subscribe. And if you have any more questions, feel free to leave them in the comments section. And I'll answer them or try to do a video on them. Okay, have a good week.